Hey everyone, we got to talk today about aptitude. What is aptitude? I think for me it's the first thing of the every teacher had to have. So everything is coming from the aptitude and how we can really make aptitude, how we can really be a strong with our girl. So it's easy, you have to take a decision and go forward. So how we can make that attitude possible? So the first thing is everything is possible. Everything you can make is really possible. It's just here. And you have to show that for the kids because we are the mirror. So everything that they look at you is the thing that they go to repeat. So that's why we need to have a really good attitude in front of them and say so they will be really good musicians. You always have to talk with them in a way they really feel they is motivated. And there's, it's going forward. And if you get tired, you just say like, oh, okay, I have to get more energy because they have more energy than you. So you have to be like, okay, everybody, we go to work with them to the area and try to fool them. They know what you're talking about. You have to make in the movement that really children's like. In another way, you have to make a balance. Sometimes it can be very energetic and then came down, and energetic, and then down, and it has to be like this. So, if we go to work and then play an area, we have to make the attitude from the beginning. So, they have to stand, the and the orchestra, and here is my conductor, and you have to be a nice conductor, a smile sometimes, it's good. And, uh, and always try to make them a little bit look all of them, so all of them they can look at you and make really attention. If you don't get the attention of all of them, so then it's not working. You have to back and go, okay, this is not the attention. How can I get the attention? Please, don't say like, silent, please, silent, please. No, do it. Please. It's not a way to do it. You can make something like, do you know what I do sometimes? I make something like, Mambo! Mambo! And then I say, And then I get the sign and the tension. So it's a good way. Or you can say, if I say Aria, you say Schumann. Aria, Schumann, Aria, Schumann, Aria, Schumann, Aria, Schumann. Then you get the sign. That is a good attitude to get them involved of the music so they can start to listen to you a little bit because they really not listen to you yet. <laughs> they will take time to really listen to you. How we can really work with the confidence of the kids? We have to work with the aria. So how we can really work in front of them if you really don't know of if you are looking like, okay, how can work with them? How can make them play? How can really they make the attitude of them? So it has to come from yours. So it's the only way that they really can be confident. Every time that you are conducting, so that you put your hand up, the children has to make ready. So for a song. This is the orchestra, number one. And this is a conductor. But you have to work with the attitude of how they sing, because okay, we go to start an aria and the aria start and the teacher and so. Even if the tune it doesn't work. For me, as a bad it's better is like this. It doesn't matter how many mistakes and the melody and the harmony they have. For me, as important is to build the confidence of the kids. That is the important. Doesn't matter if they, they make a lot of mistakes. It will come. It will come the note. It will come the harmony. Just wait. But from the beginning, he has to be a good attitude, good position, 
Look, the kids, they have to feel that you are with them. It's another way to just get lost and they don't know what you want. They have to be clear in what you want. To be a good teacher is not be a teacher, no. To be a good teacher is coming from the attitude, to feel that you are the kids. So you have to feel like the kids. When you feel like the kids, they will understand you.